Hey, beautiful Geminis. Let's get straight to your messages. Gemini. Gemini. The moon. Something is an illusion. There's some kind of karma here or cycles. The drum. This is some kind of repeating pattern or repeating a cycle. There's a tower here and the ghost dance. So, in order for this ascension, somebody has got to break some kind of pattern here that they have. Somebody's got to break out of a pattern. You're being called to break some sort of pattern. Let's see what the pattern is that Spirit is saying. It's a relationship pattern. What is going on? What is this pattern that Gemini needs to break? The moon. Some kind of karmic cycle. Repeating karmic cycles. Somebody is like refusing to break some kind of karmic cycle. They're furious. Someone is angry and furious at some kind of judgment. Angry at God. Angry at God for trapping them with someone? <laughs> they regret getting trapped by someone. So they're reaping what they've sown. Somebody could be, have cheated, or somebody's pattern is that they, this person is stuck in a karmic cycle, they are, they keep repeating the same pattern over and over again. Patterns of betrayal. Patterns of Deception, patterns of betrayal. Somebody has got to break free of their patterns. This person's pattern is deception and lies and cheating. This is somebody very angelically protected. 
This is somebody very confident. This is someone very stable. This is someone who's been divinely guided. Now, they're, we're in a relationship, but this person abandoned the relationship. Abandoned um, an empress. Ghosted. Friend zoned. Ghosted an empress. They have a pattern of doing this in their love life. They have a pattern of loving them and leaving them. This is someone who has a pattern of ghosting, cheating, being a heartbreaker. This was a blessing. This person keeps repeating the same pattern over and over and over. They are very selfish. They, they hurt people. Many. It's looking like their last relationship, they hurt a high priestess. <laughs> Who was sent here to be a blessing to them. So, this person where it seems to be Whoever they get into a relationship with, they end up ghosting them. I'm not sure why. They don't care. They act like they don't care. They just dismiss it. It's like they're ignoring, uh, I don't know, third parties. They just cut out... This is somebody who's my way or the highway. This is somebody who thinks they got their shit together and they like attention and then they end up sabotaging. It's karma. It's like they have this need to search outside themselves for greener grass all the time, never being content with what they have. Or who they have. They have options. And they're always looking. And they always repeat it with a tower. They destroy whatever they build. This is somebody who is never content with what they have. They're always searching for something outside themselves to fulfill their void within them and they choose relationships now look there's nobody more loving than an empress i'm sorry there isn't this is their guide this is somebody who was sent to them as a blessing as a guide and if they will do this to an empress, they will do this to anybody. Just walk away. Look, highly manipulative. This is a gaslighter. And when they're done, they're done. They just stop talking. They just ghost. They just block it out. Their heart chakra is closed. They're heavily burdened. But. <clears throat> they got a pattern. It's just they keep ending things. It's like. Looking for the new. Always looking for greener grass. Something new. Very immature. Very insecure, but this person likes to play. And it's 
it's unfair, it's unjust. And they are not going to ascend the holy mountain here. They keep repeating the same cycle and they're being told to change their ways. They're being told to, like, they got to break this pattern of theirs. It's like, they've repeated it several times, many, many times. And they keep the result is the same. They keep getting hurt by their own actions. They hurt other people, but what they don't realize is that they're actually hurting themselves. They have hurt many people, but they're really hurting themselves, and this seer knows it. This is someone who is a warrior. So, like, I mean, this feminine is a warrior. Oh, my good God. And the ancients here have been sending prophetic dreams. Someone is a seer. Someone has a prophetic dreams or has, can prophesize. And this is why the universe sent a warrior to deal with this person. If there was any kind of hope for this energy who is doing this, whether they're masculine or feminine, they're showing up as the emperor, but that can be a feminine in their masculine energy. But I can assure you that There is a karmic debt to pay for this. Like, it's whoever stole, if you want to say, stole someone's person. They didn't really steal. Well, it is theft. But I mean, you know what I'm saying. Like, this person was a willing participant. But unfortunately, they both have acquired karma in so doing this. This is like acquired karma. And it's not only that, but it's like accumulative karma. Because this person has hurt so many feminines along their path. Or roles reverse, for that matter. Because this person has hurt so many people along their path, it's like accumulated karma. For this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. The list goes on and on. Every person that this energy has gone to, they have ended up hurting. And they, the next relationship they get into, that's a cumulative karma for whoever enters into the relationship with this person because they have done so much to so many people. You can't keep repeating the same pattern and expect different results. 
someone keeps repeating the same patterns and somebody's got to break free of these patterns even if you are the feminine you got to break the pattern of dealing with people who are going to cheat on hurt you and break your heart and once you do that well there's mars energy someone's just void they don't want to see the truth. But, okay. So Mars is forcing and Saturn is forcing the truth. Going to force someone to see the truth. It's like, it is so that they can ascend. It is so that they can break free of these patterns and see the truth. So somebody's senses are up here. Something about their partners. This could be Gemini and Leo. routine it's like something's gonna change here something should change it's like somebody is supposed to transform to receive their blessings it's about transformation somebody believing oh i can change them oh my good god I can change them. I can change who they are. This is somebody who is a bad girl or a bad boy, you know, and the feminine thinking, oh, I can change them. They'll change for me. They won't be that way with me. The only person you can change is yourself. Like, somebody believes they can change this person. So they keep repeating a pattern. They recognize the signs. They know this person's not good for them. They know this person's unhealthy. But they do it anyway. I can change them. They won't be that way with me. It's all the other feminine's faults. It's all the other masculine's faults. It, they'll be different with me because I'm more loving and I'm more this and I'm more that. No, no, no. Not the case. Not the case at all. If this person wanted change, they would change. They're not changing. They're not. And they're not being honest. And someone is living in denial. I'm sorry. We've all been there. We've all done this. Well, I can change them. They'll change for me. They won't be that way with me. Well, they might have been that way with other people. But they're not that way with me. Why is someone living in darkness? Why is someone taking on this karmic debt when it's not theirs to take on? When they're shedding tears, I can change them. I can change them. I can change them.
Saturn is forcing the truth. Saturn is forcing the truth. Sight of owl, someone is a snake. The upper world sees it. It's just holding up someone's journey. It's just holding them up from ascension, holding them up from transformation. And like we're supposed to be evolving as human beings here and we're supposed to be evolving into, you know, it's our path here on this earth that we have to be truthful to ourselves. It's our path alone. And someone who's not been honest with themselves and they're living in denial. They don't want to see the red flags. They don't want to see it. They want to believe. They want to believe that they can change someone. But it's up to that person to change. It's holding up the journey. Someone is holding on and holding on when what they have to do is let go. Get a higher perspective. Someone is sneaky. They're always on the prowl. And somebody thinks they can tame them. Someone thinks they can tame them. Time after time, it's our path alone. This person is stuck in the middle world and they don't look someone keeps believing well I can change this person you know I can change them nope they're not it's not your job to change anyone it's your job to change yourself and no one else and someone is hanging in there going you know what I get I, they, they may have cheated on so-and-so or they may have cheated on so-and-so. You have no idea how many people this person has played around with. Now, if you're a Gemini who's in a stable relationship, please do not think I'm talking about your person. I'm talking about... <clears throat> You're, somebody is, you could be in a relationship with a cheater and they have a repeating pattern. They're going for that type. They keep selecting that type. They keep selecting that type of person in their life. So you might be in a relationship with that type of person, but you don't want to admit it and you don't want to see it and you don't want to know it. And I mean, someone just thinks I can, oh, I can tame them. I can tame them. I can tame them. No. Nope. 
it's thought manipulation. It's gaslighting, lying to oneself, gaslighting someone else. They've been fake since the beginning. And they're low key in love. They're not in love, love. They're in low key love. They are blocked themselves. I told you they're holding grudges. Their evil intentions I don't know. Somebody could be doing gossiping, collecting dirt. I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to get into that. What the message here is, someone has got to start seeing their own life or how they're living their own life. And as long as they got blinders on, they don't want to see. They don't want to know. And they're going to end up hurting someone here again. Someone keeps repeating patterns. I don't know. Some people have a pattern of meeting married people. Do you know what I'm saying? Someone may have a pattern of going for married people and thinking that um, I don't know. I don't know, like if this is a karmic energy, it's like this karmic energy or whatever it is, they don't realize like this energy could have interfered in someone's marriage or they could be like a home wrecker. What people would call a home wrecker. Um what they win? They are walking straight into it knowing that this person is with someone else. And they want to win. And it's more like I don't know if it's more of like uh winning to compete with another feminine or i got to have this person but the they already know that this person is cheating because they cheated with them they already know that this person is a cheat and they do it anyway and they go for that line that gaslighting believing you know that they can change this person oh my goodness it's like chasing wind it's like chasing wind. The more you chase it, the further away it gets. Gotta let it go. I, I, I don't know. There's a karmic energy that's been doing this and keeps repeating the same patterns and expects that they're going to get different results. If you meet somebody and they're in a committed relationship or you meet someone who's already committed, it's not going to turn out as like people think.
and it's like whoever this energy is seems to be thinking that they got away with something but the universe sees all and it's like uh, someone keeps repeating this pattern this masculine keeps repeating the pattern and whatever feminine energy that they are with is going to end up in the dark is going to end up crying is accumulating karmic debt even being with this masculine so it's like the empress may have been in this relationship with that a character like this but the empress is a warrior they were sent to help this person ascend but they chose to be a player and what if the empress can't do it nobody can do it except for that person it's it's on them you know what i mean it's on them Karmic that is here. How do we know that this energy, how do we know that this emperor isn't just passing off their karmic debts to these feminines who enter their life? And the more feminines that keep allowing this to happen, the more they're going to do it. Because they never have to pay accountability. People keep interfering with karma. This is karmic interference. Like, you know how we're going to, uh, instead of letting people get their karma that they deserve, people intervene. And it's like, oh, I can't stand to see this person suffer or I can't stand to see this person cry. That person needs to pay their karma. They have a karmic debt and they need to pay it. But sometimes as us as human beings, being loving creatures that we are, we tend to interfere with karma. And instead of allowing God to be God, we interfere with God's plan. And we think, oh, I'm going to save this person when they weren't meant to be saved. Or, or they had to learn a karmic lesson. And we, as human beings of a loving nature, interfere with divine karma. A and we accumulate it. Because we're interfering with God's plan. Like, we got to let the universe be the universe. Like, when I see people that I know could use um, some intervention, I stop doing it. And the reason I stop doing it is so that they do learn their lesson. Like as a loving human being, you want to rush in there and you want to save people and you want to rescue people and you want to help people. But the bottom line is we're not supposed to. We're not supposed to if they're being dealt karma. So we have to question ourselves. Is it okay if we intercede? Is it okay because I know a lot of people who have done that and it comes back to kick them in the ass. And that's karma. 
because we've interfered in God's divine plan. Like, for example, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. It's like, I know people that helped a lot of people and figured, well, I'm going to go out of my way and I'm going to rescue them and I'm going to pull them in and they can come live with me. I'll help them get a job. I'll help them get their feet back on the ground. I'll help them do this. I'll extend my money. I'll extend my graciousness. I'll open my doors. And those people turn around and they'll rob you blind. They will steal from you. They will do the utmost because we weren't supposed to intercede. We're supposed to let people learn their lessons. Look at all those stories you hear about, you know, folks letting people in their homes and taking people in because they need a helping hand. And then those people turn out to do some really bad things to people because maybe they just were bad people at the time. You know what I mean? So before we intercede and try to rescue people, we should be asking God, should we be interceding and helping people? I'm just saying, because sometimes you can help people that'll turn around and kick you in the teeth and leave you dead on the road. And you weren't supposed to be helping that person. I can change the... I can change them. You're not supposed to change people. They're supposed to give them the tools they need to change their own selves. Give people the tools they need, the word that they need, the advice that they need. But you're not supposed to do it for them. They got to do it for themselves. Or we are interfering with God's plan. <laughs> you know? what's coming out in the read Gemini hope it makes sense to you um, maybe you have broken free of these patterns a lot of you have if you're the Empress energy you already know this if you are the high priestess you already know this but somebody else has not figured it out take care